Hi all and welcome back. So this is this will be a short tutorial. Okay. So I have just completed one of my uh, video recording and I have seen the comments and I saw there was a comment from one of my subscribers that he is unable to find the insert and insert and stay button on the um on the form, right? So he is asking me he, uh, how to get that button on the form view, right? So basically, uh, the, you can see on my screen, this is a service now instance, my personal instance. And for example, if I go some, to some custom table, so I've created in the past tutorials, you can see I've created a table called employee certificate. Okay. So insert and stay, you must be knowing this. These are two buttons in the insert and stay. So what is the difference between insert and stay also? I will show you after we bring that uh, on the form, right? So basically, if I go over here, and this button sh will be there in the context menu, okay? So if you right click, and here this button will be visible, okay? So there will be two buttons, insert and insert and stay, right? So you can see right now, there are no buttons for the same. And people I saw in the community, people has raised a lot of concern on the same, that people are not able to find that button. So I will show you the easiest way to find uh, to get it enabled okay so what you have to do you have to simply go to sys property okay system properties so i will go for this dot list okay in system properties you will get the list of all the property which are defined on the instance level so what you have to do you have to simply go and find a property which is glide okay dot ui dot task dot insert okay so this is the property which is responsible for for that particular t fields okay so this is the property of a if i open this property out let's see what it's exactly it shows. it's like allow the use of insert and insert and stay option on task deliverable tables okay that is task extended table okay and currently the value out of the box if you see you now the value will be set to false so what you have to do you have to make simply make it true okay and save it out that's it you have to do okay now if you come to the task table okay the certificate table and now if I reload the form okay let's see the difference okay so now if i reload the form i right click and now you can see these two buttons are visible over there insert and insert and stay right so now we are done we have brought the button on the context menu now let's see what exactly now let's try to understand what exactly this button does so insert will insert a new record okay so for example if i go over here okay i will remove this stuff out okay Okay, and currently if you see there are, I think there were two records. Okay, there were two records. I will open one of this. This record I will open. <clears throat> okay, and let's see what exactly. So now there are two records. So if I do um, insert, okay. So, so for example, I am changing something out. Okay, I will give it like this is insert, insert record so what i want to do i want to create a new record but i don't want but most of the fields are common between these two records right so i don't want to go and fill each and every field right instead of that i will just change <coughs> the field which i want to change and i will instead of saving or updating i will go right click and i will do insert okay so as soon as i do insert okay so now you can see there were two records, there were three records. So I have updated out on the previous record, but it created a new record. Okay. And if I go, what was that field name? What was that field name? I think description. Where is the description? Okay. Let's bring it up. Okay. So this is how insert works. Okay, so you can see this is a new record, right? Insert record. Okay, so this record got created. Now, what exactly the insert and stay? Insert and stay also perform the similar action, but 
if you have observed that when I did the insert, I got redirected to the list view. Okay, but if I'm doing with the insert and stay right, I will stay back on the same form. Okay, so if I do insert and insert and stay record. Okay, so I will do insert and stay now. Let's see what happens now. Okay, now I've done the insert and stay, and I'm still on the same form. Okay. If I go over here, okay, there were three records. Now, if I refresh it out, so now there are four records. Okay, one is the insert and stay. So, what is the import? When to use insert and when to insert? Use insert and stay. So, basically, if you want to insert only one record, right? So, you will go with the insert so that you will be redirected to the list view. Okay, but if you want to do repetitive action, right, for around ten records, twenty thousand, or n number of records, right? So, you Insert and stay is preferable so that you don't have to open the record each and every time. Okay, you perform certain actions, right? So this was short video for Sudhi. Okay, hope you understand in depth what exactly, uh, how to enable the insert and stay, and uh, what is the use of insert and what is the use of insert and stay, and when to use those out. Okay, hope you like this video. Like, follow, subscribe. Okay, stay with me in this journey of service now learning. Okay, and drop the comments. Okay, because I'm creating videos again and again on the same topic which you have given in the comments. Stay safe, stay happy, and have a nice day. Thank you.